Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Swing Sponsor. This is Rohit and today I'm going to discuss about React Wave Screen Action for Spring 25 Salesforce release out. Okay, so let me introduce first of all what is this. Okay, Salesforce introduced the action button component in summer 24 release. But this game changing feature allow you can to run auto launch flow directly from the flow screen. However, you have to click on the button which may not be ideal for the some scenarios, right? So starting with the Spring 25 release, you can run auto launch flow without you need it or you know click on a button and the new screen action feature is not a separate screen component but a part of the screen element itself. So how we can leverage this feature? I will tell you in this video. So guys, if you are new in the channel, so please like, share, comment, subscribe the channel, also turn on the bell icon for more updates. So you never be miss any kind of update from my side. So let's get started without any further delay. Okay. So first of all, let me create a new flow. Okay. So you can open the automation app. So this is the automation app. Just click on this you know, app launcher. Search automation apps. Click on this automation apps. And uh, once you click on the new, you can see the new automation screens like the triggers or duly screen auto launch. Right. Right now, I want to create auto launch flow like this, no trigger one. So this is the auto launch flow here. So in this flow, I want to create something regarding my, you know, uh, this auto launch flow. So just click on this plus icon. Just search here, like get, get records. Let's say GT01. And here in the object, I can use like opportunity or you can use like contact based on your need. So for now, I'm using like opportunity based on the account. I can face the opportunity related opportunity, right? So just click on this opportunity one. And uh, let me tell you one thing here. Just under this one, we have like account ID because it's a lookup relationship between the, you know, account and opportunity. Just here, you have to create a new resource. And this resource is a variable and that is account ID, like account ID, right? And data type tax and uh, this account ID have some options. So let me tell you the option. It should be like data and input from flow other component, right? So just click on that. So this is the account ID here, yeah. right? So this is the get element. Okay. And now I want to fetch based on the account. I can fetch all the opportunities. Right, so this is the get one. So again, you have to click on this plus icon, and under the plus icon, uh, you have to, you know, uh, assign this. Uh, uh, that is called get records opportunity and that particular uh, collection variable. So let me create the one collection variable first of all. That is op records. Right. So under this slide, click on the new one, and here variable. And variable name it can be anything but for now i'm using like op record right data type record and it's allow like multiple and it should be output like that click on the done and up uh you know up object should be opportunity like this click on done and here in the assignment we have to use under the assignment just click on this assignment like uh, assign Okay, so we can use like a assign element. So this is assign element zero one or example purpose. Under here, I can use my you know record collection, and I want to add into that particular get records. That is opportunity from GT like this. Click on the save button because this is auto launch flow. We can fire this flow from the screen flow. That is the new feature. We will see here without any clicking on the buttons so here let me add this uh, you know auto launch flow auto launch flow auto launch flow zero one and uh, opportunity something like that click on the save and once you clicked on the save button now you have to click on other you know and you have to click on this active button and once you clicked on this active button, now your flow is activated. Now you can call this flow inside this very flow. So just click on the new button. Under this new one, you can create like a screen flow like this. Under this screen flow, we have to use this, uh, you know, screens. So they, uh, I want to 
create first of all the account lookup and based on the account lookup we can fetch the related you know opportunity based on this account lookup okay so now let me click on this screen and that is screen one under here you, you have to search like lookup so just drag and drop this lookup under here you can use like a api name account for api name like account id because account id is available inside the you know opportunity object this is a relationship right uh, so this is the label like account and the object name like opportunity okay so opportunity so this is the opportunity okay so this is the you know uh that is the lookup so after this one this lookup i can drag and drop my data table because i want to display a related opportunity based on this account right so you can just drag and drop this data table and that is data dt01 and in this screen we have another option in this uh, spring 25 release that is select screen action so you have to click on this action add action and once you clicked on this add action now you can see alf01 opportunity and that is here this is the api name so you can use it this one and we have to provide the account id so how we can provide this account id here right so we can provide the account id based on that uh, you know component and that is account lookup dot record id so this is the way to pass this you know uh, that account id inside this input variable into the auto launch flow from the screen right so this is the one way and after that after that in the data table you have to use that is a screen uh, okay that is our this one screen action result and the op record just click on the done uh, i need to check the error where it is okay so in this one you, we have to configure the column so we can configure it like uh, name so you have to search like name opportunity name click done got in the second the second we have to use like uh, name it's a name right name and click on done this is the name you can add another column like stage like stage this is the stage right click done and then close date so let me add the close date like close date this is the close date you can add as much as you can on that particular data table for now i'm using only three columns in the opportunity just click on done click on the save button and let me save this like uh, you know that is the new feature that is reactive screen action so reactive screen action so okay click on the save button and once you click on the save now you have to debug this flow so let me debug it and let's see this is working or not just click on this and wait for some time just click on this run button and here let me select the account let's say burlington and let's see yeah so this burlington textile corporation of america have one you know opportunity and it's automatic comes once you select the you know account and based on this account you can see the relative related opportunity let's see in the salesforce or how many opportunity have this you know burlington textile so let me open the account record so once you select this account and under the account here let me open this account okay so in the opportunity you can see only one right this is the one opportunity this one let me open the another account and based on the account you can see like age communication that looks like this and in this age communication have lots of opportunities so let me open it now you can see the 13 opportunity of this age communication so let me select that kind of you know age communications so just here you can refresh it and once you refresh it now you will be see that uh, age communication here like age communication and once you select the age communication because i have another age communication so maybe uh, yeah so now you can see 
Age communication have 13 opportunity. Here you can see 13 of 13. Right? These all things. So previously it was a button click actions in the summer 24 release. But in this spring 25, no need worry about to use the button click and find the auto launch flow using this button and screen. But this is the reactive uh, you know functionality. So based on this reactive functionality. No need worry about to click any button. You can just select your record and immediately you can see the record, right? So let's say this one and let me select the another one like edge communications and here you can see edge communication, right? So this is how you can use this reactive screen actions in your component or in your flow. So guys, I hope you learned something new in this video. If you feel like this is the very more informative for us, so please like, share, comment, subscribe the channel, also turn on the bell icon for more updates. So you never miss any kind of update from my side. So till then, bye-bye, take care, see ya, thank you for watching guys.